is going on ladies and gentlemen yes welcome back to another video and today i thought i would do something different on my channel because i've had lots of requests asking how do i do professional photos on forza horizon 3 so i thought why not do a tutorial and show you the best spots and the best settings to how to do this but before getting to this video if you do enjoy it give it a like and if you're brand new to my channel hit that subscribe button so anyways we are using the Subaru, and do you know what? I've done this like custom paintwork with like a pearl white color with some red stripes. And do you know what? It looks really, really nice. So if you do want to download this and download any of my tunes, search the creator, Mr. M and EK, and they will be available to download straight away. And do you know what? I thought I would add my little trademark there, Mr. M and EK, on my paintwork. Do you know what? It looks all right. It's small. It doesn't stand out too much, but it looks pretty damn awesome. Right, so we might as well take a little stroll to one of my spots, which you probably know this already, but if you don't, it'll be good so you can see. It is literally one of my favorite spots, honestly. And do you know what? This Subaru looks really nice, especially in the rain. So I've actually managed to tune it to make it go 246 miles per hour, which is very quick for a Subaru. Right, come on, let's just carry on going. Yeah, I, I absolutely love this game. I adore it. It's so fun to play. Especially with friends, but don't worry, I'll be doing a series very, very soon where you will get to play with me. All you've got to do is just comment on the video saying, let me join, and then, yeah, one of my videos, you'll be in there. Don't worry about it. Oh, that was very close. Right, I'm going to take it on some dirt. Do you know what? We're going to go over here. We're going to go over here. To a little shortcut right so we are at my spot as you can probably tell like i said it's at the petrol station or gas station if you're american i don't know how you want to pronounce it so yeah it is raining which makes it a lot better and it makes it look really good especially when you're taking photos so what i'm going to explain now there's quite a few factors you've got to think about before you take your pictures you've got your camera settings you've got your positioning you have got your lighting and you have got your scenery those are the most important things you've got to get correctly together to be able to get a really good shot at doing a photo so yeah let's go to the camera mode so as you see now, it's very blurry, which is what is good about my settings. So for the settings, if you want to copy these down, you can do that. Pause the video and write them down. So like I said, we've got a shutter speed at 2, we've got a focus at 0, exposure 50, 20, contrast 45, colour 50, brightness 50, Sophia 10 and Vionette 5. I think that's how you pronounce it, Vionette. So like I said, the settings are blurry. And when you move, they are completely fine. But this is what's good about it. You want to blow because if you press X now, it will focus just in the car. And as you can see right now, the background is all blurry. And that is a really nice shot. The real lights, and do you know what? It just looks so nice. And I personally prefer having the background all blurred out and let it focus on the one spot. So this picture could be good right here. So as you see right now, it's blurry. And if I focus, it will zoom in and get the full detail of the car. It looks very, very nice. So what? there's another trick what you can do. You can you can press up on the D-pad and then down on the left analog stick and it'll do like a little zoom effect. It'll make everything in the background come out and stand out a lot more and make it look a lot bigger. I just can't believe that they can get a game to look visually stunning as Forza Horizon 3 does, as well as Forza Motorsport 6 as well, that looks stunning. Oh, we've even got a, Fer a LaFerrari over there. Not bad, so what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna try and get a shot right here. I don't know, I don't know, that don't look good. So I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I wanna get like a little object in the way of the car, of the Subaru, so. I think it's going to be quite difficult to do. What about that? Does that look alright? I think that looks like a pretty good shot. I don't know. You can press left on the D-pad and you can change your angles. Oh my god, no, that actually looks nice. That is a really, really nice shot, but I could zoom in, make it look a lot, make it look a lot bigger and stand out a bit more. I spend more time taking photos than I actually do playing the game. That's why I've only got like 5 million credits, honestly. I just prefer taking photos than playing. Oh my god. We're getting the back end out, baby. Oh, just like that. Not bad. Right, we're going to go down here. 
So, some people prefer shots where you find a puddle or a river and you just splash straight through it. But I'm going to show you an example right now why I don't like it. So, I'm going to go straight in it. And then, right, what we're going to do, we're going to focus. In my personal opinion, I don't think that looks good. I think it looks horrible. It just looks messy. All because of the water. But you can go from a shot from the side. And I just don't like it at all. It just looks all misty. And it looks like a mess. So... That is why I don't go for splash effects. Like I said, my opinion, you could think they're good, but I don't. Not at all. Four wheel drive and it swings the tail out like no tomorrow. Man, there's plenty of cars here. Man, I thought I was going to spin out then. Let's get the top speed of this baby. Come on, Scooby. Let's do this. 245 miles per hour. I know you have got this in here. You might even have 250 in here. I don't know. Come on. 244. 244. 245. Come on. No, there's definitely not getting 250 out of it. We'll get 245. But we're going uphill. And we're going to have to break in a moment. Right, let's break. Let's break. Let's break. Right, so we did get 245. But I'm sure I could push it a lot, push it a lot more if I do actually make a. Let's take the tune out a bit better. We're basically just driving to the city to find my next spot. I was going to fast travel, but I thought, do you know what? We'll just take a little stroll around the map in this Scooby. That sounds absolutely beautiful. and It's a gorgeous car. It is a gorgeous car. So I don't mind taking a nice stroll into city centre. We'll go this way. Now down here, near the roundabout. If I had a real wheel drive now and a drift tune, I'd be drifting straight around that roundabout. But I don't. I should do a drift tune for the Scooby, but... Not at the moment. Right, we're near the spot that I love. Here we go. Don't ask why I love this spot, I just think it looks really good with the people in the background. I mean, you've got the sea, and especially when it's sunny, it looks really nice. And the glare effect just looks awesome, especially if you've got like a pearl white car, which I do now. And yeah, we just need to like set it up really nice. So that, just by taking a quick shot and not doing much difference, looks pretty nice. And it looks realistic, you can see the shining on the wheels. The chrome alloys just sparkle. You can definitely see the pearl white in the in the design as well. And what makes it the best is the actual, it's, it's the lights, the headlights or the real lights. They just make the picture stand out so good. Oh, yes. Ignore me if I make stupid noises. It's just because I just can't believe that they can make a game. Look at this bloody nice. And just the shine, the shine of my head, then the real lights. And I love the fact that it's just blurred out in the background and it just focuses straight on that left real light. It looks pretty awesome. I've got to admit, I'm going to take a photo of that. So yeah, I've got some examples right here that I took last night. And do you know what? They look really nice. And I've actually took one of my best ones, including this Subaru, that I might actually pull it up to, to hopefully win the photo contest on Forza, the photo of the week. It will look really awesome. I think it looks really nice. If you do enjoy it, and if you do agree with me, please let me know in the comment section, because my personal opinion, that dirt one right there looks so damn nice. Just the glare, the sun, just the mud, and yeah, it, it, all of it just goes together. Just the picture is absolutely beautiful. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you did actually enjoy this video, and if you are making some really nice pictures, Send them to me on Twitter or on the Xbox and I will actually feature them within a video. In my next video, because I'm going to do like a feature series where people send me like screenshots or drawings and I'm going to add them into my videos and give yourself a little shout out. So like I said, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and if you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.